Hey, it's Spence from WP Launch Club with your WordPress tip of the day. You know, earlier this year, there was a German court that decided that it was a violation of the EU privacy laws to be remotely connecting to the Google Fonts library. In other words, they declared that it was revealing the IP addresses without their permission of the visitors of the site. Now, here in America, I'm an attorney, and I could say, that's not a real problem for anybody here in the United States. But if you service any clients or are located in the EU, this is definitely something to pay attention to. Fortunately, there's an easy fix. There are lots of plugins that let you correct this by locally loading your Google Fonts. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this with the Cadence theme, which is the thing that I recommend when I'm using launch flows or uh, WooCommerce or other checkouts. In fact, we use it now for most of our sites because it has this kind of control built into it. Here, I'm going into the dashboard area under Customize. Now, if you've not been familiar with this, under Appearance Customize, you can typically get to this menu on almost any modern WordPress theme. Next, I'm going to go into General, and then I'm going to scroll down to Performance. Now, since after maybe a week after this uh, release of the German court case, the Cadence authors have been nice enough to include the following controls. First of all, you're going to want to flip the toggle for Load Google Fonts Locally. Next, you're going to want to preload those local fonts. This gives you an extra boost of performance because somebody is going to have all the fonts they need before they get to the places where they need to see them. And then finally, you want to probably do the same for your CSS. That's a personal choice, but in the same way that the Google fonts are being loaded, you can load all of the relevant style sheets that apply to your choices, whether it's on this theme or on your child theme. And now when you do this, be sure to click the float flush local fonts button. That will make sure that your browser gets rid of whatever connections it previously had to the Google remote fonts and connects to the local versions. Now I've tested this and it works very well. It has the added benefit of a little performance uh, increase and you get a Google page score speed wise that's a little faster without that notice that says, hey, by the way, you should probably connect to local fonts. This is a quick tip for anybody who otherwise might not have known of this stuff because it's not really an obvious thing to do. And in fact, if it weren't for that court case, I would say it really wouldn't be a big priority. But since this is likely the direction that many other courts are going, and I've seen at least one case coming out of France that's in this direction, it's probably something you should do sooner than later. This is Spence. I'll see you on the next video.